I just got back to camp about two minutes ago. I was starting to start the fire and I just heard a gunshot that way. I think it was that way. I don't think the legend would try and get a hold of me like that with a gunshot. Hang on, we shouldn't be standing out here in the open. Just listen. I wish you could see something. I can see pretty well with this moon. Then we get the fire started. Yeah, I'll start the fire. That was weird. I don't know who the heck would be up here and who the heck would be shooting. Let me get some light back on, I guess. No, I want to see what's going on. Stand by, guys. I'll let you know what's going on in that. Okay, you can't see anything. I'm headed a little ways down the road, just around the corner, so I can see if I can see lights of any kind. I probably, like, I could, you know, if this was a movie, they could be drawing me away so that when I return to camp, I can get ambushed. I'm not that worried about it. I'll just watch my butt. I'm gonna keep down this way for a minute, guys. See if I can see any lights. It sounded like it was probably inside a mile. It didn't sound very far away at all. It could be poachers. Maybe there are poachers up here. I don't know what the heck they'd be poaching. I mean, there isn't hardly anything up here except for moose and, and wolves and coyotes. I haven't seen hide nor hair of a deer. All right, I'm going to head back to camp real quick, guys. I'll let you know once I get back to camp. Or if anything happens, I'll hit record before dealing with it. Okay. I don't want this to be a totally dark video. I just kind of want to let you know what's going on. I haven't heard an air shot. I swear it didn't come from the legends. The international sign for help and gunplay is three rounds. That means help me. So being a single shot, I don't know. I'm headed back to camp. I'll tell you in a minute what's going on.
So, we are back at the Legends. We are in his barn. A uh, bunch of y'all guys probably remember. I've spent a lot of time in here, actually. It has changed a bit since he uh, got married. Cool, I've got that. Boy, well, that's cool. For their anonymity, I can't show you what the plaque is, but it's awesome. He's let me uh, camp out here in his, his like, bunker several times. Whoa, they, they put a door on up there. How cool. Okay, he told me about this. He, he told me that his, his uh, bunk room had been converted into uh, a loom room. I, for those of y'all that don't know what a loom is, that's how you make like blankets and, and sweaters and stuff. You make fabric out of it. He gave me permission to camp up here, but I'm, I'm iffy about it. Whoa. Oh, how cool. Dude, look at this. It's a real loom. Whoa. How cool. It couldn't get more post-apocalyptic, could it? Make your own blankets and sweaters and ponchos and stuff. Oh, and there's a rug now. Oh, I've got my boots on it. Look at the beds. Yeah, there's definitely been a woman's touch in here, guys. This is so cool. This is so nice. Whoa, the window over there. How cool. Oh, and the heater's mounted to the wall. Yep. The legend did good. He got a good one. Yep. I just wasn't going to stick around, basically. I did the math in my head, right? And no post-apocalyptic warrior would stick around in a camp that he knew people knew he was camping in uh, after hearing a single gunshot go off in the dark. It's just, I, I analyzed it a whole lot more. I started to start a fire, right? And I'm just like, no, I, I can't do it. I, I was actually thinking about just going up the hill and, uh, and camping up there, just throw down my, my blanket or my bag in a cold camp, right? Without a fire. Uh, instead though, I reversed my, uh, my hoodie, my jacket, Packed up everything I need for one night, left the lantern burning, not the lantern, the, the, it's electric lantern burning in the tent so that it looked like I was there and I, I hightailed it up through the, through the forest and through the gullies and stuff. Yeah, back to the road. I spent maybe, I don't know, maybe a good 45 minutes sitting there just looking out down the valley into everything. Never a light, never nothing. Uh, I don't know. I decided to come back here because the legend said it was okay. Okay, friends, good morning. Just woke up. Uh, the legend woke me up with the four-wheeler.
told him what happened last night, and then I, oh, he totally understood. Uh, he didn't know I was up here, though, so he heard some knocking around, thought it was like a giant wood rat. Turned up, turns out it's me. I am super tired. I don't know. I totally overslept. It's like nine. Uh, could be later. The wind is supposed to get really bad. It's supposed to like blow 50 miles an hour. Uh, so we're trying to get to the cabin as fast as we possibly can. We'll uh, overnight there and then we'll hoof out uh, tomorrow. I gotta get down to camp uh, though, get a fire started, get some coffee, maybe try and dry these socks. It'll only take a couple hours to get to the cabin, so I'm not too worried about it. I'm still half asleep though, dang. So, uh, yeah, we're just going to play everything by ear. Legend said he did not shoot last night. I told him, yeah, I heard a gunshot pretty close. And knowing that people knew where I was camping, I figured I'd take him up on the offer to stay here. He was like, no problem. I just, I thought there was something big living up here. I was like, well, there kind of was. All right, let's get out of here, guys. Oh, I'm so sore everywhere. Thank you for a safe place to sleep last night, buddy. No problem, anytime. Uh, yeah, I was just telling them you said it sounded like there was something big up here. Ah, <laughs> uh, shoot. Yeah. Well, I'll get this place cleaned up a little bit before it freezes in. Cause, okay. Um, you yeah. can see it coming. Whoa, you sure can. Look out there, guys. It's coming. Yeah. I better get my butt to the uh, to the cabin, get somewhere okay. safe for the night. Yeah, all right, thank you. I really appreciate you, Lance. All right, well, if something comes up, yeah. right, or you hit drifts when you hit, get into the trees, yeah, right, you know, just come back and okay, just like you did, right? Okay, the hole up and I appreciate it, yeah, because yeah, I, I don't know, they're not the forecast seems to change about every six hours, really, okay, so but.
might be all right. Destroying a good can, that's going to be used as a torch later, if necessary. I've got to make a choice about the tarp, what I'm going to do there, and then I need to calculate how many batteries I have. This lens doesn't need to go with me, that's for, uh, just a filming lens there. It's a cord, I'm definitely, what cord is that? No, that's a micro USB, that's not a C port. Do I have anything that runs micro USB? No. I left my other phone at home. No. The only thing that runs micro USB is the charging. Well, I'm leaving the, the charger here. Right, because I have enough batteries. Yes, okay, good. It helps to talk through these things with ourselves sometimes because there isn't anybody to talk to. And so we think in concepts. So our brain is processing what we're doing in a conceptual way. When we actually talk, it lets us uh, hear the plan, basically, and work through it a little bit better. Lots of military people do it. Uh, Navy SEALs are notorious for self-talk. They normally do the self-talk in their head as a motivation to get through pain and problems. Uh, however, I find it's very beneficial for me to do it out loud, literally, out here. And plus, there's nobody around to see, so it's not like you'll look crazy, you know? Right? Who's that? What? Oh yeah, totally, you know it, man. Uh, try and just figure the absolute lightest I need. Even considering water, my good friend Laney got me this as a present. It's a life straw. Supposedly, I can drink any kind of water with this and I won't die. So I'm taking one small bottle of water, the empty jug, so I can refill it on the other side and the life straw. We'll find out if it works. Okay, hat. Now, now I've got to make a decision. I've got this tarp here. This is a bag. I get these from the gentleman that I work for. It's that pellet bag. I can either utilize it to cover this bag that I'm leaving here so I know it's fine in the elements, or I can take it with me in case I need to shelter somewhere.
if you ever wind up having to do this, don't think that it's gonna be easy. Because like, if you're out here and you're like, boy, Matt sure made it look easier than this. Nah, bro. Nah. It's hard. It hurts and it sucks sometimes. I enjoy doing it because it's just what my life is. Kind of. It's hard to describe, hard to explain. But it's gonna suck. You'll notice lots of times it looks like I move slow too. Like when I'm in camp and then I move fast out here. The trick is uh is discerning when slow fast is good because like i found that when breaking down camp and moving or getting ready for a push i'll make mistakes if i move fast at that time then out in the field like this i make mistakes by slowing too much but i also try and keep in mind when i need a rest because this is a marathon not a race Okay, friends, we're at the creek here. Uh, we're so I break this into sections. There's about five sections. Uh, this is like around the first part, basically. So next stop, we so we keep traveling down here till we hit a uh, a turn, right? Once we hit the turn, we're gonna start heading back up this way. That's heading towards the logging road, right? Now somebody has driven up on here and this this didn't used to be here right it cuts around like so i'm wondering if it doesn't cut up on top there if it did we could cut out a lot of distance we wouldn't have to go down and then zag back up we could just zig here and then drop right right up onto the top i'm wondering if it's worth the energy because if not then we're going to be pulling through the sagebrush and rock and it doesn't look it right now but you see all those rocks out there those are actually like boulders dragging this thing through that is going to be a pain in the butt all right let's scout it we'll leave our stuff here and scout it real quick isn't it nice out here i love how it's never just a nice, easy camping adventure with me, right? It always seems to be something, and it's like, I mean, this time it's a 50 mile an hour wind and like 13 degrees. Now with wind chill, that's worse. Okay. I'm not sure where the heck this goes. Looks like somebody with like a side-by-side -side started driving an old cattle trail maybe ah, that even if this does cut out some distance no i don't want to uh, uh no heck no right now oh what is this there's this is some kind of structure guys Like a some kind of a reservoir. Oh wait, yeah. There might be open holes or something underneath the snow. I'm always careful where I'm walking and what I'm doing. Try and think about where I am in life right now. Huh. Well, I never knew this was here. Okay, well, duly noted. See, if we follow this creek all the way, 
it cuts through a very, very dense, jungly, like, like Jumanji style uh, cre crevasse that stretches all the way up to the uh, to the cabin. You know that big drop right outside the cabin door, the, that gully? That, this cuts through there and keeps on going. Definitely not a shortcut though. Okay, we'll get back on the sled and move. I'm starting to get really warm because uh, my I'm working out, right? So I'm wearing my thermals underneath these jeans. I think I'm gonna take them off, stick them in the Trevois, and then, uh, I don't know how to pronounce it, Trevois, Trevoy, uh, drag sled, you know what I mean? Still though, I'm gonna stick them in there so I can cool off. When we're trekking a long way and we're hoofing it, we'll sweat. If we sweat inside of our warm clothes, when we stop moving, they're wet so they won't hold the heat anymore and uh, we'll wind up freezing like in a cold situation. So. Actually, I might just take the advantage right now because we don't have much further to go before the end of the first section. So I might stop and get something to eat right now. Lighting our cup of coffee, but there's no way to get any. So, you know, how about guys? dry place to sit Let's see I got yeah two Oreos that's two days right yeah I ate up about a month's worth of supply it's the little things though that make it nice having some food or a candy at the end of the night skin sun is chilly here I got some hot dogs for later and I've got that ram for tonight. I figure it might be a little past 12. It might be, it could even be one o'clock. It doesn't get dark until, uh, it starts getting dark around six. It's definitely dark by seven. So we've got plenty of time to get there, traveling nice and light. I just always, you know, look forward to whatever might occur on the way that is not planned for, you know? How makes good chili, that's for sure. I love the way he does it too. It's just like you just jam those ingredients in there, throw in the seasoning, put in a lot of love, and let it cook for probably two days. Because this is amazing. I and mean, you know how leftover chili just gets better and better? Mm-hmm. out in there let's see if I can point to it down in here that's Loomis where we started this morning is way out there in those trees now that way if I'm not mistaken is west so the sun is already the sun rose over there because the sun rises in the east it's already over there I'm thinking it's probably about maybe 1.30, somewhere around there. We're headed this way. Pretty soon we'll get up into the forest, uh, and that's where 
like the adventure really begins. Still riding back there? I forgot to mention, this is the part where we keep going up. Up sucks. We have to live the adventure when going up anything. And I always find it's important to be right where I am, right then. Even if I make seven steps, I have to stop and breathe that steady forward motion. As long as we keep moving forward. Now check out what I found out here. It's a pretty big coyote. It's not a wolf, it's just a big coyote. Doesn't look too fresh. I have been passing fresh piles down here, but they were small coyotes. Coyote. That's a word you can say enough times that it doesn't have any meaning anymore. Coyote, coyote, coyote. <laughs> All right, sounds like a cool like anime character or something. I can see it now. Coyote. This is why I do it, guys. And kind of because I can. Never give up. Never surrender. Forward motion forward motion. 